So I've, put, I've made the statement, the bold statement, that progressive overload is bullshit. And I brought Joe on to uh, help me explain what that means. So for the equation, what you guys can see is it's moment arm times the load equals torque. So in an equation, those two equal parts that multiply together, they're equal. If you have no concept of moment arm and what that means, then you literally have no business <laughs> focusing on what the load is. So if Joe's training his pec, which is what we did today, the axis that we're affecting is his glenohumeral joint. So it's a shoulder joint, it's right there. So if I wanna do a straight arm, fully lengthened chest exercise, so that this is half of the equation, this is the moment arm, this is the distance from the axis. So if Joe's doing 50 pounds in this position, it would be exactly the same as doing 100 pounds in this position because it's half the distance. So if, you, if you're doing a 100 pound dumbbell press here, and all of a sudden you come and do 120 pounds, but you cut the distance between your shoulder and your elbow in half, let's say you're right there, right in the middle. Now you're doing 120 pounds. In actuality, you're, do, you're causing less torque around this shoulder joint. So when people say, well, I went from 100 to 120 pound dumbbells today, I increased my progressive overload of my chest. The answer is bullshit. You didn't. You actually decreased the amount of work your chest is doing. And this is why I say progressive overload is bullshit.